Embarking on a journey that straddles the fine line between the known and the uncharted, we delve into the awe-inspiring realm of crossbreeding. We stand at the precipice where science challenges the natural order, creating entities that challenge our understanding of life itself. Welcome to an exploration where genetic lines blur, making the unimaginable conceivable. Our journey will unravel the complex and contentious sphere of crossbreeding, a field that fuses genetic codes across species, often igniting profound ethical dialogues. As we navigate through the labyrinth of these unconventional scientific pursuits, we will expose you to 10 of the most astounding and disconcerting crossbreeding experiments, ones that may urge you to reassess the fundamental constructs of life. Are you ready to embark on this intriguing expedition? Let's begin. This is Odin, and he is 900 pounds. He stands over 11 feet tall on his hind legs. This is the world's largest big cat. Number 10, human-monkey hybrid. The allure of human-monkey hybrids stems from an ambitious scientific quest aimed at providing solutions to organ shortages. Scientists have been relentlessly pursuing the development of these hybrids with the principal objective of cultivating human organs for transplants. The idea behind these experiments is to create hybrid embryos called chimeras, which could potentially grow into animals with human organs. The complex scientific endeavor was orchestrated by introducing human cells into a monkey embryo with the hope that the resultant organism will be capable of growing human organs. Yet, as enthralling as these scientific endeavors are, they've not been without their fair share of controversies. Ethics and moral concerns have always been at the forefront of these discussions. The concept of creating a life form, part human and part animal, for the sole purpose of organ harvesting has been viewed by many as overstepping a boundary. Critics argue that the potential for unforeseen and possibly catastrophic outcomes is simply too high to ignore, especially considering the close genetic ties between humans and monkeys and the potential for cognitive similarities that might result from these experiments. The consequences of these actions are far from clear. As of today, no human monkey chimera has been brought to term. While some view this as a disappointing setback, others consider it a momentary respite, allowing for more time to reflect on the ethical implications and regulations needed to govern such scientific undertakings. However, it is important to remember that the discussions, the explorations, and the attempts continue. The line between man and beast becomes more blurred with every passing day as we delve deeper into the realm of scientific possibilities, exploring uncharted territories and pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human. Number 9. Bees Crossbreeding Experiment Venturing into the realm of crossbreeding, a notorious experiment involving bees offers an illuminating insight. Mid-20th century biologists aimed to crossbreed European and African bees to produce a hardy, high honey-yielding hybrid. However, they inadvertently birthed the aggressive Africanized honeybee, infamously known as the killer bee. Contrary to the docile European bees, these hybrids display a larger attack zone and can pursue perceived threats over a mile. Their increased aggression escalates risks for unsuspecting beings, leading to fatal encounters while outcompeting local bee species and disrupting ecosystems. The inadvertent result of this experiment highlights the need for diligent ethical and environmental considerations when meddling with nature. It underscores the onus of scientists towards potential fallouts of their work, particularly when creating potentially harmful species. Furthermore, the environmental implications are significant. The introduction of a dominant species can upset local ecosystems and ripple into broader environmental damage. It underscores the far-reaching, often unpredictable consequences of crossbreeding. Number 8. Pig-Human Hybrid The development of pig-human hybrids comes from the realm of science that seems like a premise straight out of a science fiction novel. With the persistent shortage of organs for transplantation, scientists have always been in a quest for alternatives. As a radical approach to address this problem, they embarked on an ambitious endeavor to create pig-human hybrids with the ultimate goal of growing human organs in pigs. The experiment itself was an arduous process, spearheaded by advanced genetic engineering techniques. 
The scientists began by creating a pig embryo that was genetically modified to lack a specific organ, say the pancreas. This was then injected with human stem cells, cells with the potential to develop into any organ. The objective was for the human cells to fill in the genetic void and develop into a human pancreas within the pig embryo. The result? The first pig-human hybrid, or a chimera as it's known in scientific parlance, was born. This creature was more pig than human, with about one human cell for every hundred thousand pig cells. Nevertheless, it signified a major breakthrough that could potentially revolutionize organ transplants. However, this groundbreaking experiment was not without its fair share of controversies and ethical concerns. There are significant apprehensions about the potential implications of this kind of genetic mixing. Critics question the moral integrity of creating a creature that blurs the boundary between humans and animals, and there are fears about what might happen if human cells start contributing to the pig's brain, possibly leading to human-like consciousness in the animal. Moreover, the idea of growing human organs in pigs raises questions about animal welfare. The pigs would essentially be bred and raised for the purpose of organ harvesting, bringing into focus the ethical considerations of using animals for such purposes. The full impact of these experiments, both ethically and scientifically, remains to be fully understood, adding another chapter to the fascinating yet alarming saga of crossbreeding experiments. Number 7. Wolfen Creation in our exploration of unsettling crossbreeding experiments, we arrive at the eerie tale of the Wolfen, a hybrid born of a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. While the prospect of such a creature might seem the stuff of fantasy, its existence is largely attributed to captivity breeding. Both of these species belong to the Delphinidae family, making their genetic compatibility feasible, but the result is something neither entirely dolphin nor whale. A cross between a sleek, playful bottlenose dolphin and a powerful false killer whale, the wolfen possesses an uncanny blend of traits from both parents. Its elongated body, larger than that of a typical dolphin, yet smaller than a false killer whale, is a testament to its mixed lineage. Some might see this creature as a marvel of genetic diversity. Others view it as a stark representation of the unnatural circumstances that come from confining these ocean dwellers. The creation of the wolfen has had significant repercussions on animal welfare and genetic integrity. This hybrid, existing as an oddity of nature, brings up pressing questions about the ethics of breeding programs in marine parks and zoos. Critics argue that such practices can harm the parent species' genetic integrity and disrupt natural breeding behaviors. Furthermore, the wolfen's hybrid status renders them infertile, much like mules in the world of equine species, they are caught in a genetic limbo, unable to contribute to either parent species gene pool. This fact underlines the potential long-term consequences of artificial crossbreeding, especially when it's applied carelessly or for novelty's sake. Currently, the most well-known wolfen is an individual named Kekai Malu, who resides in Hawaii's Sea Life Park. Her existence continues to stir debates about the ethics of such crossbreeding experiments and the implications they bear on the welfare of the animals involved. Despite her fame, Kekai Malu's tale underscores a disturbing reality. The line between natural genetic diversity and man-made anomaly is a delicate one, easily blurred by curiosity and scientific ambition. Number 6. Ilya Ivanich, Ivanov's Experiments the annals of scientific history are dotted with daring experimenters, but few can rival the audacity of Ilya Ivanich Ivanov. This Russian biologist was a forerunner in the field of artificial insemination and interspecies hybridization. Yet what garnered him notoriety wasn't his work with livestock, but his audacious attempts to create a human-chimp hybrid in the 1920s. Hailing from the cold expanses of Russia, Ivanov was an ambitious man undeterred by the limitations of his era. A trained zoologist and biologist, he devoted his career to understanding reproductive biology, pioneering artificial insemination techniques in domestic animals that are still in use today. His work was vital for improving livestock breeds, enhancing productivity and disease resistance. Ivanov's boldest experiment, however, involved crossing the species boundary between humans and our closest relatives, chimpanzees. He hypothesized that the genetic similarity between us and our primate cousins might allow the creation of a viable hybrid. 
With financial backing from the Soviet government, Ivanov launched his controversial project in West Africa, attempting to inseminate female chimps with human sperm. Despite numerous attempts, no successful human-chimp hybrid, often referred to as a human Z, was produced. Ivanov's experiments, while shocking, nevertheless marked a significant milestone in our understanding of reproductive biology. As you might expect, Ivanov's work was met with a mix of horror, fascination, and disbelief. Many decried the experiments as a gross violation of natural and ethical boundaries, while others saw it as a bold stride into uncharted scientific territory. Even today, the legacy of Ivanov's experiments stirs debate about the limits of science and the ethical implications of cross-species hybridization. One thing is certain, though. Ivanov's controversial work ensures his place in the annals of scientific history, a testament to humanity's relentless quest for knowledge, no matter how dark the path. Number 5. Farm Cattle Crossbreeding in India in the 1990s, amidst India's striving agricultural economy, an intriguing yet worrisome experiment took place. Local farmers were incited to venture into the world of crossbreeding, specifically pertaining to their cattle. The aim was to bolster milk and meat production by creating a new breed of cattle that amalgamated the traits of indigenous and foreign breeds. The process involved blending the robust survival traits of the local breeds with the high-yield characteristics of exotic breeds like the Jersey or the Holstein Frisian. However, what was envisioned as a breakthrough swiftly turned into a quagmire. The crossbred offspring, while indeed showing increased milk production, were ill-equipped to survive in the harsh Indian climatic conditions, unlike their indigenous counterparts. They were more susceptible to diseases, required expensive feed and frequent veterinary care, amplifying the operational costs for farmers. Furthermore, the acceleration of this crossbreeding program led to the neglect and even extinction of several native cattle breeds, raising grave concerns for genetic diversity and animal welfare. The experiment is a classic exemplar of good intentions leading to undesirable outcomes. Fast forward to the present day, India is grappling with the ramifications of this experiment. The focus has now shifted to conserving indigenous breeds and promoting sustainable livestock farming. Yet the ghosts of the past crossbreeding experiment continue to linger, offering a stark reminder of the perils of tampering with nature without a thorough understanding of the possible repercussions. Number 4. Hiramitsu Nakauchi's Embryo Transplants Hiromitsu Nakauchi, a stem cell biologist, has been at the center of groundbreaking research and innovation. He made headlines for a unique, though controversial, experiment transplanting embryos that blend human and animal cells. In a world first, he was given permission to grow human cells in rats and mice, a breakthrough that held promise for organ regeneration and transplant. The experiment begins with a process known as chimeric embryo creation, which involves injecting human-induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs, into a rat or mouse embryo. The hybrid embryo is then implanted into a surrogate animal, where it grows and develops. As the embryo matures, the human cells multiply and differentiate into the various cell types that make up organs such as the liver, heart, and pancreas. This revolutionary research could potentially solve the organ shortage crisis, enabling the growth of human organs in animals for transplantation. However, the procedure is not without its controversies and ethical dilemmas. The key concern lies in the potential for human cells to contribute to the animal's brain. Groundbreaking advancement from the world of science. Scientists say they have created synthetic human embryos. They say they bypass the... Potentially endowing it with human-like consciousness or cognition, a notion that disturbs many. Furthermore, Critics question the moral implications of creating hybrid creatures and whether the use of these animals for organ harvesting crosses a line. They argue that we must tread carefully and consider the potential long-term consequences before we delve too deep into this new scientific frontier. Despite these reservations, Nakauchi's pioneering work continues to open up new possibilities in medical science, demonstrating the power and potential of crossbreeding experiments. Yet, it also serves as a stark reminder of the ethical and moral questions such experiments can raise. 
pushing the boundaries of our comfort zones and challenging our traditional notions of species and life itself. Number three, creation of beefalo. The concept of creating a beefalo, a hybrid of bison and domestic cattle, was born in the United States in the 1800s. It aimed to combine the superior traits of both animals, crafting a breed that matched the resilience and adaptability of bison while offering quality meat akin to cattle. However, beefalo has caused unexpected and significant environmental harm, proving to be highly invasive and damaging to vegetation, water sources, and other wildlife habitats. This hybrid breed's grazing habits and mobility have drastically altered the landscape, with many U.S. national parks struggling to control the environmental chaos caused by these animals. Moreover, this experiment raises concerns about genetic integrity and ethical issues. The beefalo is predominantly cattle, being 37.5% bison and 62.5% domestic cattle. This dominance of cattle genes has brought pure wild bison, which once roamed the continent in the millions, to the brink of extinction. It poses a major threat to biodiversity and the preservation of purebred species. Furthermore, the ethical implications of such experiments are substantial. The question remains, should we manipulate the genetic makeup of animals for our benefit, potentially leading to their extinction or significant changes in their natural behaviors? Number two, dog breeding gone wrong. In the ominous shadows of backyard breeding, a disturbing and unregulated practice lurks. These so-called breeders, often fueled by greed, aim to churn out puppies like factory products. Picture this, cramped cages, filthy conditions, and an utter disregard for the welfare of the innocent animals involved. Tragically, the offspring of such nightmarish breeding practices are often plagued with a Pandora's box of health issues. From joint problems to heart conditions, these innocent pups face a lifetime of suffering. In certain cases, inbreeding leads to severe genetic disorders that cause agony for the dogs and heartbreak for the owners. In this sinister world of backyard breeding, we must turn our gaze toward the necessity of ethics and regulations. It is crucial to understand that these living creatures deserve respect, love, and humane treatment. Stricter laws and vigilant enforcement are vital weapons in our arsenal to combat this dark practice. Together, we can make a stand against the cruel underbelly of backyard breeding and ensure a better life for our loyal companions. The clock is ticking and these animals can't afford to wait. It's high time we take responsibility and shield the voiceless from the horrors of unethical breeding. Number 1. Crossbreeding Lions in India In the late 20th century, India launched a daring program to crossbreed domestic lions with their African counterparts. Scientists hoped this would result in a stronger, healthier lion breed. However, the results were far from the envisioned dream. The crossbreeding program produced offspring that were weak and susceptible to a multitude of diseases, and their survival rate in the wild was low. The program was ultimately shut down due to the suffering of the animals and widespread criticism from animal rights activists and biologists. This served as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of meddling with nature's intricate design. From human-animal hybrids to aggressive bee species and environmentally harmful bee follow, our exploration of controversial crossbreeding reveals the profound impact of crossing species boundaries. While these audacious endeavors by scientists such as Ilya Ivanich, Ivanov, and Hiromitsu Nakauchi have sparked debate over the need for stricter ethical regulations, they also underscore the potential risks involved in such experiments. As we venture further into genetic experimentation, where should we draw the line? How do we balance the drive for scientific discovery with our responsibility to maintain biodiversity and ethical treatment of all life forms? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking science content. Thanks for watching.